My name's Al Casper, I'm president and CEO of Savage Arms. I've been with Savage for 26 years. We go back to 1894 with Arthur Savage, who was a prolific uh, inventor. So we are very proud to be the, the key innovator in our, in our industry space, for sure. Savage is such a cool, iconic company. The products, the innovation that we do, AccuTrigger really revolutionized the triggers on, on rifles. Take us through what we're gonna look at doing today. So you're going to go out, you'll take a factory tour, you'll see behind the scenes how we build things, how we cut metal, how we put things together, and then later you're gonna go out and actually build rifles, start to finish, install triggers, and then head upstairs to shoot it and make sure it's on before yep. you go to the range tomorrow. Well, here we are at the very start of our journey in the Savage factory. I'm here with Wayne, who is our material supervisor. And Wayne, you've already given us a bit of a tour of the place. Yep. But today, we're going to start the building of our rifles. What are you going to build, Brad? An impulse mountain hunter. Yes, sir. And I want to build a uh, Savage 110 Ultralight. Ultralight. Mate, tell us a little bit about your history here with the company. I've been with Savage now for 38 years. Um, I started off just pushing parts around and as time went by, slowly worked my way up the ladder, got to where I am now. All right, well, take us through the first stage. Okay. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. So here we have our Mountain Hunter Impulse in 6.5 Creedmoor. Yep. Oh, I think I can do it. Let's see how I go. So we put this in the, in yep. the voice. So we got to make sure that matches up with the groove. I've been in manufacturing my entire 40 plus year yep. career Good and one. you know made in America is still important we have a lot of people here that are extremely passionate about the, the products that the, we sell that they they use their hands and and their brains to to do and do it very well they're very proud of it I always describe our culture as a family culture every employee here is treated as the same and you know, quite honestly, they are the most important people. You know, I'm very proud to every year hand out those five, 10, 15, 20 year service awards. I always say it's the happiest day of uh, the year for me. Perfect. So now do we check the trigger pressure? Yep. For 2023, we've launched a couple really cool products for you know, the Australian market. Our Impulse Mountain Hunter, which is our straight pull design that is cost effective, really cool. We've paired it up this time with a proof research barrel. And so you've got that carbon fiber barrel and you've got a lightweight package. It's, it's multi-caliber. So when you build these rifles, both of the, the Impulse Mountain Hunter and the Ultralight have the proof research barrel. You'll shoot them when you're done. There we have it. Thanks, Jimmy. How did it go, Jimmy? Went really good. There you Fast go. learner. Fast learner. See, fast learner. So there we go, the new mountain impulse hunter. Can't wait to shoot it. <laughs> I'm here with Jake. What are we going to build here, mate? It's a 6.5 ultralight. This is the new proprietary camo, the Savage Woodland. So I grab the barrel. I do that with the barrel. Yes. And then I. Yep, it all just goes. Lock it in. Locked in, right? Simple. Bolt is in. So far, so good. You'll notice how we build the guns. The Savage recipe that goes into that, how we mount the barrel to the receiver, how we headspace it, how the bolt has the float in it that allows that case to center up perfectly within the chamber, things like that. And once you get into how it goes together, all of those little features that we put into the gun really stack up and that ultimately why you'll have a gun that shoots better than any production rifle made. gonna go right over there. Perfect. Hold that there. There we go. Well, I think that, uh, you know, our customers are, are key to everything. But, uh, you know, we get great feedback from them. Uh, they bring new ideas for exciting new products and product innovations, which we then turn around as quickly as possible and uh, bring to the marketplace. So without them, it's, it's hard to grow. I think with the quality, accuracy, and innovation that we bring, to all of our other products, bringing that into the handgun space is going to allow us to uh, make a, a little dent in that market share. As a 1911 shooter myself, really nice pistols. They shoot very well. They are remarkably tight, but they function. We had three guns, three 1911s on the, on the range. We shot about 2,000 rounds. So eight rounds per person, several hundred shooters, not a single malfunction, which 
in any pistol design, polymer or a 1911, that's pretty amazing. So the guns work really, really well. It's complete. Hang on a minute. So here we are, Jake. We've just finished putting the Savage 110 Ultra uh, with the camo together. A lot more moving parts than the, than the Impulse with Brad. A lot more. A lot more difficult yes. to put together. A lot more skill, a lot more know-how. A little bit more time, a little bit more care and attention. Yes. All right, but um, we'll see how they shoot. I mean, I don't know how Brad's will go, but uh, we'll give mine a go. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's yeah. go. So every gun gets proof and function to verify there's no deficiencies in the lockup uh, headspace and barrel. So here we got uh, blue is your min headspace and yellow is your max headspace. For your min, you're gonna want it to close and fully close, like there'd be a round in it. So you can pull it, and you go to put the max in, it won't close. Test these, eh, and see how they go. Safe. Forward. You. Forward. Yep. There you go. Safe as hell. And what are we looking for here? Here, what you're looking for is like the face, any cracks or anything. Look in here, make sure there's no damage. And that's good. Good. Yeah. So there you have it. Brad's building Savage Impulse. Done. Pretty, pretty simple build. I've gone and built the more complex Savage 110 Ultra in camera. Excuse, excuse me, Matthew. Excuse me, Matthew. Yeah. I just think my uh, expert technical knowledge of this fire, I've just made it look easy. I'd like Matthew who made it look really, really difficult. Well, I had good help though, I had good help. But listen, just Wayne, as well. Wayne, we've had an amazing day, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a couple of scopes on these. Yes, sir. And we're gonna... We're gonna target them upstairs at the 100 yard range. Jimmy's one of the guys who's been here, how long now? Uh, 46, 47. Wow. When I first started here, we used to have a, a wood room. Yeah. A wood room, it made stock. Started, I worked there for, I don't know, seven or eight years, finally ended up in the service department. Yeah. And that's where I've been ever since. Wow. 25 years up here. And all the other stuff was just doing all the other stuff in a shop. Okay. But it was it was a pretty good ride. It's good. I like yeah, that. That's it's fantastic. You know? So I was aiming there. So yeah. I would go 12 clicks up. Uh, you would turn it to the right. Yeah, you got the wrong way, Brad. Uh. Close. Yeah, yeah, we're talking. That's accurate. Straight off the cuff, Brad's gone and sighted the scope in. But I'm a left-hander, and this has been set up for a right. <laughs> All right. So already, 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 I'm behind the eight ball, okay? I've had everything against me from the very start, but through this I'm going to prevail. All right. It's a right-handed scope, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the guys want to go home sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was going to say, is this going to happen today? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty close. This one here? Yep. yep. This is the one that counts, Brad. Shot. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh! Wow! 
One more? I was going to say one more. <laughs> I've got one more left. You had to go one too many. <laughs> one too many times. <laughs> I'm going to have to write an apology yeah. to put in with the gun, right? <laughs> Righto, so here we are. We've gone and built our very own Savage yeah. Rifle. Geez, that was a good day yesterday. We had a great time. Fantastic day. And we've got them set up there. And, mate, we're here at a private range where we're just going to sort of... We're going to put them on paper, see how they shoot. See how they shoot yeah. on paper. Yeah. I did pretty well yesterday in the tunnel, mm. given I had to shoot right-handed. I am a left-hander, but... Uh, All I heard were excuses yesterday, so... Well, you're going to hear a few more today as well. <laughs> 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 it's snowing. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> I don't really have a trigger finger. So the guys at the guys at Savage had some uh, Loophole VX5, three to fifteen by forty fours uh, in house, which we've loaded up on these. So what I reckon we do is after we 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 um, we we um, centre these in, yeah, I reckon we give Loophole the call. Let's do that. All right, let's do it. So look what we've, got. we've got the champion tra um, targets. Yeah, that's right. Use them anywhere. Correct. And this is Matthew's. <laughs> after he shot. Where's the bullet hole? Yeah. We're trying to work that out. <laughs> We're just setting up. It's a bit hazy out there, Brett. Another excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so you're low and to the right. I see it. Whoa, high. No, I was aiming for top left. Okay. That's not bad. That's touching. That's touching. Smack bang in the middle. That's all right. Wow. Well, see, mate, I can shoot it left-handed. I don't seem to have the wayward one you did at the start. No, that's right, yeah. Well, it could last. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding about three touching. One, two, three. Let's have a look at the ones he did first, though. One, two, three with Brad, right? Okay, and then he after he got it, that's all. That's where he went to. When you come over here, Josh, that was a bit wayward. That was my first one right there. Right? And then, yeah, okay, so Brad still has the better group. At 100. That's at 100, yeah? 100. Right up. 175, here we come. Uh, that's just bottom left. That's now over on the right. Be good if you just get it in the middle. Bottom right. Yeah, well, I can see that. I just don't want to mention where it is on camera. <laughs> this isn't good. <sighs> you want to swap? We'll swap. Yeah, why don't we do that? Are they touching? I think they're touching, mate, yeah. Oh, it's a good shot, mate. Is it touching? Yeah. Well, the good news is, I have built an exceptional gun. The bad news is, I'm not a great shot. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, that's pretty close. Three and three. I still think you won though, Brad. I think I might have. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's at 175 yards out of the box. Good optics, great gun, awesome shooters. Yeah. 
Well, hang on. I might say, you shot that too. I didn't have a bag. <laughs> I shot without a bag, you shot without a bag. I think, look, I can see Brad has been consistently shooting well. He's consistently better. What do you reckon? I, I, I like that impulse. I like them both. Yeah, they're good. That's pretty good, isn't it? 175. 175 yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. The coal barrel, the coal finger. <laughs> Cold air. Not an excuse. You know, mate, when I think of Savage Firearms, the word impressive comes to mind. Mate, I agree. It's been an incredible couple of days. So knowing what I know and, and seeing what we have seen in the last few days, yeah. you can buy a Savage Rifle with the confidence. Mate, the factory tour, the processes, the quality of their people, their commitment to quality and their commitment to creating the best products, it is just simply outstanding.